Ugh. Ugh. I tell you, crew, I was not anticipating taking a nap. That just came out of nowhere. Whew, look at that. Look at that nap head. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry. My wife will just shake her head at that. So. There you go, babe. Man, dude, I don't know what the temperature's like where you all are, but it's in the 90s here, and it has been since this morning. I mean, that heat wears you out. So I am very fortunate that I do not work out in the heat because that stuff is no fun. Uh, so went to uh, run some errands this morning. Uh, which include picking up my comic books. So uh, let's take a look and uh, check out what I got. So, uh, before the, my comic store opened, uh, I woke up to a, a message from a person on Facebook Marketplace had replied to me to uh, my, my question, asking if they still had something that they were selling, uh, and they did, and it was a super freaking good deal, like I wasn't, in the, I wasn't planning on spending that money uh, I've actually been in a money saving mode actually uh, but every now and then I'll find something that I've, I've wanted for a while that's just a super good deal and I can't pass it up uh, so I drove this morning I drove uh, a few cities away uh, and picked up oh my gosh this bad boy the truth is in here, babies. Uh, so they were, this goes for Walmart selling this new for 200 bucks right now. Amazon's got it on sale for 120 bucks right now. Uh, I paid 65 bucks for it. Uh, like I said, that's, I, I, I figured that I would get this maybe as a Christmas present one day because I, I it, it's, it was I don't like spending that much money on myself for something like that uh, but 65 bucks I ain't passing that up so uh, I went and picked that up this swanky place man man that place is swanky uh, I didn't even know that place existed and uh, drove back to uh, a, a few more cities away from me from where I live to uh, get my comics. And so uh, I didn't go last week to pick up my books. And uh, so I just had a, a, a large week this week. And I had some stuff missing. And if you've watched my videos about this, uh, it seems to be pretty common right now at my shop. Uh, which, you know, man, it happens. Uh, this dude was facing a freaking pandemic where he's been shut down for a few months. And uh, so he's dealing with that. And then he's dealing with uh, DC Ditch and Diamond distribution uh, and doing their own distribution. And so he's trying to work out working with these other companies and uh you know it's it's crazy towns so uh any comic shop i've ever gone to has messed up my file on a pretty regular basis i guess it's just a thing that comic shops do uh so i'm used to it this guy has messed up the least of anybody that i've had and uh you know that's that's cool with me so uh so let's show you 
what I picked up. Uh, the first one I want to show you is a book that I've been waiting on for weeks to get because it's a DC book and uh, his he originally ordered it from Diamond and then DC dropped Diamond and then he didn't know that he didn't get these in because he wasn't expecting it because it wasn't on his list. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so finally got it, and that is uh, The Question, Many Deaths of Vic Sage, Part 3. Uh, I got, that's a, a super awesome cover, man. I love that cover. Uh, I got the normal cover, and I get the variant cover for, uh, for this book as well. Oop, there we go. Uh, cool variant, too. So, very excited about this book been waiting on it i love the question he's one of my favorite characters uh very underrated very underused and uh sadly a lot of the time when he is used he's not used correctly so uh so very stoked i got those uh let's see i got uh batman 94 uh this has been a really good read uh, I've been very accustomed to Batman sucking for a long time now, uh, and Batman's finally good again, and it's just like, I forget what that's like, you know? So I'm really enjoying that title. Uh, Firefly number 17, I talk about this series a lot. Boom Studios, uh, they keep, I keep looking for books to drop, and, uh, that book always comes up and I'm like this is the last time if this issue's not good I'm going to drop it but it's always good so I've just accepted that fact and uh, I'm just going to continue to buy that book until they do something stupid uh, Stealth number three love this book too it's a very fun different read and I uh, I am super into it excited to read that uh, finished up Stranger Things. Uh, this one's Into the Fire. It's the last issue of this. These these all have been four part series. Uh, added the new one, Science Camp, uh, to my file to the, today, uh, and so that's going to take place uh, in between seasons uh, two and three, where Dustin was away at Science Camp. So that sounds dope. Pretty excited about that. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 106 got this book uh, this series I started I bought issue 100 uh, just to you know hey it's issue 100 let's try it out and uh, really enjoyed it a lot and they did some crazy stuff I was like whoa holy crap and uh, so I was like if it's good I'll, I'll continue to buy it and it was good so jumping on board with that uh, Nightwing number 72 uh this nightwing title I, I jump around on it like most of my stuff i'm pretty consistent on buying it if i buy it i tend to continue to buy it uh nightwing i kind of i kind of jump around dan jurgens is a really good writer uh but this whole rick grayson thing uh in in tom king's abysmal batman run uh KG Beast shot Dick Grayson in the head and uh, it gave him memory problems and so he doesn't really remember who he is and he uh, changed his persona and started, uh, instead of being Dick Grayson he was Rick Grayson and uh, he dropped he dropped Nightwing and he wasn't Nightwing but he was this other guy and you know all this stuff and so I didn't really like that and uh so I, I, I've sort of just bought that book sporadically. Uh, but this Joker stuff going on in that book right now, pretty interesting. So uh, I'm trying to get those. Uh, ooh, baby. Batman the Adventures Continue, number two. Uh, first time that uh, Deathstroke is uh, in the animated series universe. Pretty sure that's a Sean Gordon Murphy cover. Uh, sure looks like Sean Gordon Murphy's Batman and Deathstroke. Uh, it doesn't, I don't see a signature anywhere. See if the inside tells me. Uh, but I would, 
almost guarantee that that's Sean Gordon Murphy. Yep, Sean Murphy and Matt Hollingsworth. Uh, he's a really cool artist, and uh, Batman White Knight was super cool, super fun. Uh, Curse of the White Knight, I didn't dig as much, uh, but White Knight is very cool. Uh, and then DC Classics, Batman Adventures, the reprint of this this run. Uh, I'm I'm honestly, I've got these, uh, I, but I'm only buying them just to just to support Batman Adventures because it deserves it. Uh, and then uh, this super awesome cover, uh, Detective 1023. Uh, it's a Joker War, uh, probably I guess Prelude. Uh, but I love that cover. It's really cool. Uh, and that's that's my stuff. That's my haul for the last couple weeks. So uh, I'm going to read some of these, I guess, and finish drinking my energy drink. Try to stay awake. Cool down. Uh, so hot. I'm, I'm going to be real honest here. I'm not wearing pants right now. So... Now you know. Okay, well, that was awkward. Uh, so, be excellent to each other and take it easy. Kind of looks kind of cool. I might keep it.